My name is John Shore. I'm a retired professor of sociology. I'm a, a charter member and a past president of the Chiang Mai International Rotary Club. Our focus is child safety, health, and education in Northern Thailand. And the real tragic uh, part of this is that in many cases it's not one child who dies at one time but it's two or three children that die at the same time because in addition to not being able to swim they have really no understanding of water safety. This project is a very good project for students. They are able to swim and they feel confident around water and they are not going to drown. สวัสดีค่ะหนูชื่อเด็กหญิงชนาการลงนู้ค่ะชื่อเล่นชื่อฟ้าใสอายุ12ปีค่ะได้เรียนรู้ทักษะการว่ายน้ําและการเอาชีวิตรอดจากการน้ําท่วมตอนแรกหนูก็ว่ายน้ําไม่เป็นค่ะพอมาเรียนที่นี่ก็ว่ายเป็นค่ะหนูรู้สึกมั่นใจเวลาไปเจอแม่น้ําหรือสาว่ายน้ําเพราะหนูเวลาว่ายน้ําหนูจะไม่จมค่ะก็มั่นใจครับเวลาไปอยู่ใกล้น้ำใกล้สาอะไรพวกนี้ครับเวลาตรงน้ำเราก็มั่นใจว่าเราว่ายน้ำได้ครับ Only about one out of four or one out of five Thai children can swim. Swimming is not a part of the culture. Children are trained by their parents to be afraid of the water, uh, and uh, that means if they do get in trouble in the water, they do panic. And so we work on getting relaxation. When we notice a child is afraid of water, and this happens quite often, we have special instructors. Who then will deal specifically with the fear of the water? <laughs> the program uh, tries to uh, instill four basic skills. There's the getting in and out of water safely. แล้วนะครับเวลาลงไปนะครับให้ค่อยๆนะครับหันตัวนะครับหันตัวลงมาแบบนี้นะครับเข้าใจไหมครับแล้วห้ามเอาตัวนะครับห้ามเอาตัวไปถูขอบสระแบบนี้ไม่เอานะครับ then also flotation with a, uh, with a flotation device. And when I say a flotation device, uh, an empty water bottle, an empty one liter water bottle will keep a kid afloat. Uh, and so throwing that water bottle into the water to the kid who's in trouble rather than getting in yourself could save two lives. The life of the kid who gets the water bottle and the life of the kid who would have drowned had he gone in and tried to save that child. And then being able to swim on your back and then turn and swim on your face down. Uh, and then basic dog paddle uh, for 25 meters is uh, part of the requirements for the successfully completing the course. Of these thousands of children that we've taught, you don't forget how to swim. Uh, and, and once you know that it's important, their children, I'm sure, will learn how to swim. Uh, and then their children will learn how to swim as well. And so we're hoping that uh, it, it really becomes something that is uh, a part of what it means to grow up. If you are interested in uh, considering uh, establishing a program like the one that we're doing here, in which we've just described to some extent, 
uh, you can uh, contact me at one of the addresses or on the phone uh, that it's going to be given to you at the end of this uh, video.